Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a facility layout project, uh, facility layout optimization in a production plant. Uh, this video is a series of uh, several videos. Uh, it's about project students they submit as term project for the facility planning and design course. Uh, so I want to see another sample of another project. There is a link of videos in the box below So before we start, please subscribe to my channel that motivates me to do more videos If you have any question related to this, please leave a comment under the video Okay, so we're gonna start uh, So as I said, this is a facility planning term project uh, The visited plant is located in a city in Lebanon it does student desk for school and universities the main aim of this visit is to assess overall performance output and efficiency of operators and propose an improved facility layout so just to summarize industrial engineering is how to improve efficiency while keeping the cost low okay is how to reduce the expenses in order to increase the production uh, so if we work as a production and we need to assess the efficiency of a facility we need to assess the overall performance of people and machine as well as we have to improve the facility layout to relay really out the machine in a way to service all the products okay if you're not familiar with this please have a go at the flow analysis which some of the examples string diagram and multiple process chart so the objective is to monitor assets, is to observe what's happening in the current scenario or situation in the factory, measure operator performance and efficiency, compare performance with the standard, identify the bottleneck of the system, and if you're not familiar with the word bottleneck, which is the slowest step of the system, please have a go at, uh, at the movie bottleneck, at the video bottleneck, and identify improve the material handling in a factory and propose an improved facility layout the plant runs for 250 working days and each day of eight hours each day has a third minutes lunch break so in order to we start with eliminating the unavailable time per day uh, the unavailable time is the lunch break the tea break during the week there is a 10 minutes meeting at the start of each week to assign task and 15 minutes general meeting on wednesday 10 minutes meeting at the end of each week on friday to review to review outcomes of the week so those times we have here which is about an hour an hour 20 minutes an hour 45 minutes or 105 minutes are unavailable time per day so tho those time must be uh, subtracted from the total time per day which is the eight hours or excuse me per week okay so 40 hours per week we must subtract the time here every day we have those two which is an hour so in fact we're working seven hours per day daily and over a week we have to subtract as well the time for meeting and uh, per week removing the break time the remain eight minus one seven hours which is the time half an hour lunch and two tea breaks so we have 1750 hours per year working hours the meeting time accounts for 35 minutes per week times 50 weeks per year 50 working weeks per week per year so we have 1750 minutes 29 hours per year the meeting time so if we remove this time as well from the total time per year we end up with 17 21 hours per year so available time 6884 hours per day so those are time available to produce in the factory and the meaning are unavailable time even if it is a normal working time so the product uh, root sheet we receive we store we transfer the wood slats we cut them we edge bend them we'll see the step by step transferring the sheet we cut them we form them we weld them we inspect coating and at the end we do the assembly and we do this one as well transferring metal tube tube sewing tube bending and welding tube so as we could see here for example tube sewing 
and we the standard time standard time i have to remind you is similar to the cycle time is the time needed to perform an operation without any interruption if the machine or the operator are experienced to a job it's been done for a while and the raw material for this step as well as the shield number which is the machine code and it requires two labor and the machinery required the machine is sewing machine so this is the root sheet for all the process we have which is the time we need for every single step as we could see here for, for example for the sheet cutting we need it need, requires three minutes per unit and uh, we have we need two labors and this is the machine to do the job so we start by the steel pipe structure to do the tube sewing uh, the welded steel tube with an internal weld seam that measure a nominal size so we have the nominal outer diameter times length as you could see here and hollow part right in the middle so this is the steel pipe structure and the wood plate structure medium density fiber board is an engineer wood product by breaking down hardwood or softwood residual into wood fiber uh, the dimension is the length times width times the thickness as you could see here so the sheet metal plate structure members made from sheet metal steel aluminum alloy this is the dimension for the metal sheet and the tube sewing we first start by sewing the tube cutting the tube the structure pipe tube and the tube sewing as we could see here from the root sheet is a sewing machine the space area which is the space needed to uh, working space around the machine is 10 by 10 or 10 square meter length of sewing tube is 140 centimeter number of labor two people required cycle time is 0 1.33 minute per unit every unit requires this amount of time so units per minute is 0 0.75 unit per minute which is the same just like we did the inverse the capacity per day is 310 and the inspection rate or scrap rate is 5% so the actual capacity although we produce 310 but the remaining effective good one at 294 tube for bending so it's a tube before bending and tube after bending this is how we bend the tube and it is manual step so the tube we have or excuse me it is uh, it's done a per machine it's uh, 24 square meter we need quite two labors this is the cycle time and the capacity 413 and the remaining is 404 after inspection metal tube joining four banded metal tube by manual electrical welding this step is followed by inspection so we go over the steps the same apply it requires four minutes unit per time and this is the actual capacity of the system the metal cutting machine so this is a, a figure of the metal cutting machine as we see here as well as it's been done so we require two labors cycle times three minutes 0 0.33 capacity and the remaining the forming seat forming machine as well as just to obtain this form as we could see it here uh, so this is a rectangular sheet plate are placed on a means that form them into a desired shape uh, so is, this is the space required for the machine number of labor as we see here we have here the welding desk and tube uh, so we could just read them slowly and we have here the inspection just to make sure everything is fine so we need one labor and this is time required so the powder coating is needed for uh, uh, just needed to do the finishing and coated unfinished desk so here is a powder coated scab of coating that's applied as a free flowing dry powder paint metal into the desired co color a trolley conveyor is used through the steps and four desks are attached at one as we could see it here so wood cutting by CNC machine and input at CNC machine so the time need is we need two labors 80 square meter space a cycle time and we have the actual capacity 145 units and edging is the same with applying machine and then fastening which is kind of an assembly just to put all together we need two labors and it's done manually okay the capacity is 133 units per day so this is that is a finished unit which is a table a desk as we could see here 
efficiency of the system, the speed of the system is 90 finished units per day and the plant actually produced only 75 items per day so they are producing less than the way what they should okay improving layout it is safe to say that operation uh, including metal tubes should be arranged successively uh, one after the other and group into closed work station since there are high flow intensity between the station which is very normal if they are one after the other they should be placed one after the other you should, shouldn't place them far from each other because there is always going to be backward and forward between the steps so since there are high flow intensity between the station grouping them together minimize the traveling distance similarly for the metal sheet and wood block recommendation redesign layout to minimize transportation which is like the traveling between one step and another separate receiving and shipping area which is true because shipping is receiving the raw material and shipping is where you place the finished product a storage of raw material storage of finished product dedicate a clear pathway in the plant um, so we could see here is a current production flow as it is we have three products we have the blue line purple line and the green line as you see here so we have the receiving and shipping and at the end they're both they come to the same step okay they both they come to the same steps till the assembly area so they start for receiving of material it goes all the way to wood cutting this is the first step here as well as from the receiving and shipping of from material it goes to the tube sewing sheet forming if you go back to the presentation and then it's an empty space so come to the tube bending and tube welding desk tube welding and then it comes down all the way to the assembly area after those the two steps are finished and the same for the blue line and the green line as you see here so by just checking the flow of this blue and purple and green line just see the, the improved one so we have the receiving storage of raw material the tube sewing sheet cutting tube bending tube bending as you could see here and at the end we have the assembly area and when it is all of finished product so it's like definitely they are one after the other as much as possible you could see the flow is clear and is successive sequential one after the other much better than the one before Okay, so I just repeat how this one is chaotic and it's done a lot of zigzagging. They go backward and forward all the time, which is uh, waste so much time by traveling between the departments. So this one is much clear and direct. So the traveling distance before uh, between uh, receiving and the first step, the first step and the second, all the way to the shipping, is 327. 27 uh, meter while the first the new one is 223.96 meters so this is a reduction of 100 meters of traveling between uh, different uh, department or different section of the factory so in a way for every product you're saving walking or traveling if they're doing the carrying of unit in one machine or another 100 meter okay so the final recommendation is a new layout reduce the traveling distance from 328 meters to 24. There's 104 meters of waste time lost due to traveling and material handling. The new layout reduce the traveling distance by 31.7%. I have to make sure, I have to, um, to, to clarify that the improvement of the efficiency here is to reducing the traveling distance, saving the time, in a way they have more time to do other other stuff even if they kept the amount of production uh, as it is so by doing this job so they have more free time to be idle okay and as well maintaining the same amount of production for another sample of project of facility layout optimization uh, check the link in the box below